that's a um, flathead six uh, Dodge. Let's get a uh, batteries. Oh, it's already got a battery in it. Uh, so we'll check oil. Uh, where's the dipstick right here? Yeah, she's good. I don't have a rag, but it's raining right now and it's badly windy. Uh, this was six volt because uh, the original six volt starter has died at short himself, so I didn't have any spare one. So I just had a spare new on stock 12 volt starter motor. So when I rebuilt this whole truck, this is going back to six volt originally. So I'm getting two starter motors uh, rebuilt, six volt ones. Uh, that's 12 volt as well, but I do have a 6 volt alternator that came from US. It's bigger than a 12 volt than I've never seen before. Uh, I have it on the other truck, which is Restore. Gee, it was best 6 volt alternator ever. The generator is just sort of weak, but the alternator is best. That's the original clutch pedal. I do have a brake pedal and I do have an accelerator pedal. Follow me, yes. I got this from eBay. Uh, sorry, from Facebook. And it's wrong. This is a surveilling car uh, linkages. The weapons carrier has an elbow bend. So, the weapons carrier has a bent elbow. This is a surveilling one. This is a surveilling car one. So, weapons carrier is a bent elbow. So I had so much trouble with the uh, accelerator. It just didn't want to go in, it just popped backwards. So accelerator is this way. So I have to use my shoes to push it. <laughs> it is raining out there and very bad windy. Yeah, that firewall is missing right there. I managed to get this. This has come from US. I've got a second half firewall. the fuel pump all right lucky that's closed because it had no hoods and no um, bowls hoods are see over there uh, if you have no uh, bowl on it make sure you close that or otherwise you will have uh, some insect and wasp going inside and make a mud nest inside that happened to the um, there was a uh, motor that I bought so I've actually got, got nine spare weapons carrier motor. Gee, one of them took the head off and then had four of wasp nests inside that I had never seen before.
raining right now <laughs> so this was originally built as WC 55 in World War II I've got the build car for this matching the chassis number and the cap number uh, after the war all the WC 55 was sold to France and France got rid of the cannons off the back and modified the whole front. They cut off, they removed the winch and they cut the shawn into a WC55 and converted it as a fire truck. As you can see, these original nuts from the 40s is still there, welded by the French. And it looks like it had some kind of frame. It probably could be a winch frame. So I'm gonna cook. This is going to be removed and I'm going to convert it back to original as WC55. There is only three of them in Australia as far as I know. And none of them has cannons, so I'm planning to put cannons on mine. So that's original. That's original. Not the headlights, this full glass. It should be a bulb type. The radiator is original. Engine is not original. It's a civilian car engine. I've got the correct engine for this truck. It's almost finished, rebuilt. Reproduction fan belt, weapons carrier. That's original carby. This is an early type, Zenf. Uh, sorry, a Carter. Zenf is a later one. It needs a total fully rebuilt because it kept flooding and shutting engine off. And same as the distributor. It was right hand drive. I tried to put it back to left hand drive just for fun driving around the farm. Yeah, this whole thing was sealed up, so I cut it off. Which I'm glad it's still there, these part. But this frame is supposed to be on that side. All switches reproduction. That's new old stock, which is not working at the moment. That's original oil pressure. That's original, which is for this Blanc's or Willy's Jeep, which I had it in the Jeep. And that's a new old stock headlight switch. Original steering to this truck. Um, that's original speedo, but not for this truck. That's the speedo should be white needle, not a yellow one. Original seats. This is a later one. Early ones have it up here. They cut it short to later one. Original body, which is a late model, not for this truck. That's the original one. That and that, all in the back. That's not original fuel tank, that's a Mazda car fuel tank. Original transfer case. Original, actually this is a um, power wagon gearbox. It's the exact same as weapons carrier, this one. But this one has a date says 1956 on it. When I cleaned the whole gearbox out, it was full of grease all over it. So I cleaned this whole gearbox out of it, and there was a tag there since 1956 I found. So it's actually a um, post-war gearbox replacement. The front axle, original. I got most of the parts for this truck to rebuild, except I'm missing some of the parts for the winch.